Hi, today we're going to go over the AE10 DCA 10 quart mixer and uh, show you um, some some brief um, how to's on how to how to uh, install the accessories that come with the machine as well as go through the controls. Uh, as you can see here, the machine comes with a wire whip, a beater, and a dough hook. The wire whip is used for beating eggs. The dough hook is used for mixing dough, and then the beater can be used to mix liquids. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the beater. The bowl just slips right in here, and then make sure to lock the two uh, bowl locks on the side, and then you can just stick the accessory on like this, and then turn it, and then lock it into place. So in order to turn the machine on, the bowl needs to be lifted and the safety guard needs to be closed and then you'll hear a slight beep here. Now if you notice here, there is uh, five speeds here, one, two, three, four, five. This, this controls the speed of the motor, there's a DC motor inside that has five, five different speeds as well as uh, three different transmission selections, three different gear, gear settings. So you can actually do a total of up to 15 different speeds. Now, if um, you want to set a timer, you can set, this is one, two, three, four, or five minutes, or so on and so forth. You can set up to, you can set up to 30 minutes on the timer. If you set it to off, and then the timer is off, and if you hit the on button, then uh, the mixer just goes uh, and stays on indefinitely. So you'll have to be a little bit more careful to watch the mixer if you if you aren't using the timer. Now I'm just going to start off in the slowest setting uh, the, with this with the motor at speed one and then the transmission at speed one, and then just press the on button. You can see the see the mixer start turning, and you need to turn off the machine to switch the gear to say two or three, I'm going to switch it to two and then turn it on again and you can see it, it, turn, it turns faster but you don't need to turn off the machine to increase the motor speed. You can, you can increase the motor speed as uh, the machine is mixing but again if you want to switch the gear you need to turn, turn off the machine and then switch it to the next gear. So now you can see the motor is spinning pretty slowly, but the transmission is spinning pretty fast. Now, if I increase it, now, now the machine is going at the highest speed and starting to shake the table a little bit, so I'm going to just slow it down. You should only use the highest speed with the wire whip. If you're using the dough hook, we recommend uh, leaving it in gear number one. And then if you're using the paddle or the beater, put it into speed number two. And then if you're using the wire whip only, uh, put it in the three. So um, uh, if I set the timer here, um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on. Now, if the timer is on, you can press the on and off button and then it actually pauses the countdown. Um, and then it will resume uh, from where it left off uh, after pressing the on button again. Uh, there is an ingredient uh, pour chute here so you can, you can keep pouring ingredients here as uh, you're mixing. And if you turn, if you uh, open the safety guard, the machine turns off automatically. And then you have to restart it, or if you lower the bowl, the machine also turns off automatically. So this is a pretty neat mi mixer. It, it's very compact um, and uh, doesn't actually um, take up very much space on the countertop. Now, uh, if you have any more questions um, about the machine, we just encourage you to contact us. Thanks for watching.